What's up? It's me, Chantel, back again with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get luxury perfume oils, but on a budget. So without further ado, we're just going to hop right into this video, okay? So I just really started getting into more of the luxury grown woman perfumes because Bath & Body Works was cute. But I'm trying to level up. You know, I might still wear my Bath & Body Works every now and again. But I'm like, I want to elevate myself, okay? So, I went and I started looking up all these perfume videos and everything. And then I saw the price of these perfumes and I was like, it's a no for me, dog. I was like, I'm not doing it. So, I went scavenger hunting to see if I could find these perfumes at a lower price. And then I came across this website called Oil Perfumery. Now this is not sponsored in any way, okay? So I went on this website and I found all of these luxury perfumes. And they were at a really, really good price. And if you don't know, oils last a lot longer on your skin than alcohol-based perfumes do. So not only am I going to get luxury perfumes, I'm going to get them on a budget and they're going to last a lot longer on me. So I was like, this is a win-win for me. So I went up there, I purchased five, five perfume oils. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the perfume oils. I'm going to share with you how long they last, what they smell like, the whole nine. Now, just for a disclaimer, all of these perfume oils are dupes for the originals but they smell the exact same. So I was like, if I could get these perfumes and smell like a rich bee, but not spend that rich bee price, this is good for me. So I'm gonna show you guys the five scents. They're all perfect for fall, which is the season that we're in. So it was perfect. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. So without further ado, we're just gonna hop right into it. Okay, so the first perfume oil that I got is the Love by Killian Don't Be Shy. So it's in this cute little small packaging, which is perfect for me because I never use a whole thing of perfume anyway. So I'm like, it's pretty pointless for me to get a whole big bottle because I have like so many perfumes. I don't really use all of it. And then this is so small that I could put it in my purse or my pocket for on the go if I just want to refresh myself after a long day. So I was like, this is actually pretty perfect. Now the reason why I picked this scent, this was actually a blind buy perfume scent. But y'all, I was so excited to try it because I heard, now I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard that this was Rihanna's favorite perfume. And who don't want to smell like Rihanna, okay? Like she a bad B, and I'm trying to smell like that too. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get those bad B vibes. So I got this. Now I actually like sweet smelling perfumes, and when I looked at the notes, I was so freaking excited because this is like a more sweet smelling perfume. Now I'm going to smell it. <sighs> Now I love this scent. It's like a warm and sweet scent so it's perfect for the fall and this is giving me this is giving me like a marshmallow vanilla like an orange blossom type of scent. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a marshmallows and cream soda type of scent is what this is giving me. Now um, just a disclaimer, I've worn all of these perfumes just so I can tell you guys my honest opinion on each and every one. So I've worn all of these so I know how long they last. They last all day and if you put these like on your clothes, it lasts several days. Like several. But I can tell you if you put this on early in the morning, you will literally smell this on your skin all day. Unless you're doing something which requires you to make a lot of movement, then you may need to re-up. Um, but like I said, it's so small that you could just put it in your pocket and go. Um, but I really, really love this scent. Now I'm going to tell you how much it retails for and how much I actually spent on it. Um, this actually retails online for $240, but I only spent $18.95 for this bad boy right here. If this is not enough convincing, I don't know what more I can tell you because 
this is just it smells amazing it lasts a long time and it's a great price so definitely would recommend this scent right here now the next scent that I purchased was the Gucci Guilty Intense. I actually love the Gucci Guilty um, line. Now this was not a blonde buy. I've actually purchased this. If you guys don't notice, I do actually have the original Gucci Guilty right here. Um, but this is the intense one because I just like for my perfumes to make a statement when I walk into the room. Like, I like for people to be like, as soon as I walk into the room, to be like, oh my gosh, she smells so good. Like, what is she wearing? Like, I just love to get the compliment that I smell so good. Like, my hygiene is so important to me. So, I love to smell good. And this is the Gucci Guilty Intense for Women. And I just love this fragrance. Now, I'm going to smell it. Now this scent is like, it's like a warm but also floral scent and it's kind of seductive like it kind of pulls you in a little bit. Now this is a more mature scent but it doesn't smell like somebody's grandma, okay? Because I'm only 24, I don't want to be out here smelling like Barbara Ann. But this doesn't give me that, this gives me very mature grown woman. It's, this scent is really kind of perfect. Um, now, this retailed online for $132, but I only ended up paying $14.95 for this bad boy right here. So this was just the second scent. Okay, so for the third scent, y'all, I have heard so many things about this scent and I was like, you know what? I need to see what the hype is about. Now this was a blonde buy, but I was like, I need to see what the hype is about. Now this scent is the Baccarat Rouge 540 uh, by Mason Francis. We're not even gonna butcher his last name. I'm sorry, Mason. Um, but this is what it is, y'all. I was so excited to try this scent, y'all. And I was not disappointed. I will give you that. I was not disappointed. Um, this scent to me is more, it's not really sweet, sweet. This is more of like a airy, floral, clean scent. So it's not really sweet. And I do like sweet scents, but I still really enjoy the way this smells. This is also a more sophisticated scent, just like the Gucci Guilty Intense one. But I feel like this scent will actually be good in all seasons. It doesn't just have to be good for the fall, which is the season that we're in. But this um, is actually just good for all seasons, all the way around. Um, this retails online for $300, but I only spent $19.95 for this. If that's not a steal, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but I really do love this scent and it really lasts a long time. Like all of these last me all day. Like literally all of them last me all day. Um, so I really enjoy this one. Okay, so for the fourth scent, we have Hypnotic Poison by Christian Dior. I'm up in all the stores when it rains and pours. She liked the way out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I had to do it. Okay. Um. So this is the hypnotic poison. Um. I love this scent. This is giving me like a warm vanilla scent. Um. Which, like I said, is perfect for the fall. And who doesn't love a good vanilla scent? That's what this is giving me. It also gives me like a little bit of root beer. I don't know if I'm the only one that smells this when I smell this scent, but it's giving me like a little bit of root beer. But it's like the perfect blend of bitter and sweet because it has like um, an almond scent in it as well. So it's like the vanilla and almond mix. It's like a really good combination. So it's not too sweet and it's not too bitter either. And it's great for the fall and the winter time. Like I, this is definitely great for the fall and winter. I really love this scent, y'all. I love a good vanilla scent. This this smells amazing. So I love this scent right here. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys. So that retailed for eighty-five dollars online, which is not that bad. But if you still want to save your coins, I only purchased that for fourteen ninety-five. Fourteen ninety-five, y'all. Okay, so we're on to the last and final scent. What we have here is Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. So we're gonna smell this one. 
I really like this smell. Now I actually, this was actually a blind buy and I purchased this after I saw Kyra on Monique's channel. I think that's how you say her last name. And she was ranting and raving about this scent. So I was like, I need to get it because I like the scent of cherries. It's like, I know it's going to be sweet. And so I know it's something that I'm probably gonna end up liking, but it's not like a childish type of sweet scent and it's not too sweet where it'll give you a headache because I know for some people like really sweet scents give them a headache. This is not like that at all to me. It's sweet but it's also tart at the same time and it gives me like a very sophisticated scent. Now when I first like put it on me it kind of really just smelled like candy for real but then it kind of dries down into like a warm scent because this one also has almond in it as well as liquor so that combination of all of this is like a warm but sweet scent <sighs> this smells so good you guys like honestly i literally just want to douse myself in this it smells so good <sighs> yeah it smells super super duper amazing now y'all this scent let me let me tell you what it retailed for oh so, this scent retailed for $499. You wanna know how much I paid for it? $19.95. $19.95, bro. If that's not a steal, bro. Because who was paying $499? I know I wasn't. So, um, to get this, Yo, and this scent smells so amazing. Definitely, I definitely recommend this scent for you guys. So yeah, that was the last one. Okay, so that was the last scent. And now I'm going to add up the whole cost. Now I'm gonna tell you how much I would've paid if I would've bought all of these perfumes outright exactly how they were priced online. So I would've ended up paying $1,000. $256. Baby. I'm sorry. But that's rent. Baby, that's rent. Who was paying that much for all of that? Mm -mm. Guess how much I paid? I only paid $88 on oil perfumery for all of that. $88. So I saved a total of $1,168. Baby, if that don't have y'all run into that site, and like I said, this is this is not sponsored by the way. But yeah, y'all, I saved a thousand dollars. I saved a thousand dollars. How you go how you gonna beat that? You can't beat that. You can't beat that for real. And the shipping, I believe it took about I want to say about a week maybe a little over a week it didn't take two weeks it took like maybe a week and maybe like two days it didn't take that long to get here whatsoever the packaging was nice nothing was broken nothing was messed up everything came exactly how it was supposed to be it was cheap it smells amazing so I'm gonna be giving rich BTs without paying the rich B prices. That sounds good to me. But yeah, you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys took some things from it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next week in my next video. Peace.